In this video, we're going to be graphing the system of linear inequalities on a coordinate plane. So here we have systems of inequalities, and let's first remember what that might look like. So from an earlier video, we talked about how to graph a single linear inequality based off of our symbol, whether it was greater than or less than, or greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, and which of those would give us a dotted line versus a solid line, and where we would shade above and where we would shade below. And when we have a system, meaning two or more inequalities, what that means is that now we're going to be having two sets of lines and two sets of shading, and our answer will be where both of the shadings overlap. So coming back to our example, we'll start with letter A. So here we have that y is greater than negative 2. So we're going to go ahead and we'll start with that one. So y is greater than negative 2. So here we need an m and a b. So our m, because there's no x, that means our m is going to be a 0. And that means that our b, or our y-intercept, is going to be a negative 2. Because our symbol is a strictly greater than, we're going to have a dotted line. And because it's greater than, we're going to be shading above. If we look at our second inequality, we have y is less than or equal to 3x, and we want to find the same things. So here we have an m of 3, so our slope is 3, and we have a y-intercept of 0. Because we have a less than or equal to, that tells us that we're going to have a solid line because of that equal to symbol right there. And because it's less than, we're going to be shading below. So now we'll graph each inequality separately. So I'm going to graph our first inequality first. I'm going to do that with an orange line. So here I've got, well, we'll use purple. So I have a b value of negative 2, which I'll graph. And then I need to do the slope, which was 0. So I'm going to move up 0 and over 1. Up 0 and over 1. Up 0 and over 1. And from here, I'm ready to go ahead and I have enough to create my dashed line. So I have my dotted line. And I'm going to be shading above. So I'm going to draw my little man. And shading above means I'm going to be shading this sky area, right? The sky of his, from his little walk. And now we're ready to graph our second line. So if we go to graph our second inequality, we have a y-intercept of 0, so we'll graph that point first. And we have a slope of 3, which means we're going to go up 3, so 1, 2, 3, and over 1. And we're going to put our point. And we can't really go up and do that one more time. Really, two dots is enough to give us a line. But if I wanted to, I could repeat the pattern in reverse and go down 3 and to the left 1 as well. And this is going to be a solid line. So I will draw my line and I'm shading below. So I'm going to draw my little man climbing my line and below is going to be his grass. So we're going to go ahead and shade the grassy area here. And we see that there's an overlap right here of the two colors. So this is going to be our solution space. Let's go ahead and graph our next one. So here, for letter B, we have y is less than 3 and x is less than 2. So again, we have y is less than 3 and x is less than 2. So we'll start off by finding our slope of our first line. Because there's no x, our slope is a 0. Our y-intercept is going to be the number 3. Because it's strictly less than, that tells us that we're going to have a dotted, line. And because it's less than, we're going to be shading below. If we look at our next inequality, x is less than 2, here our slope, we do have an x, but it's kind of in the other spot. So this tells us that our slope is going to be undefined, which means that the y-intercept, we're not going to have one. Because it's a less than, and it's a strictly less than, we're going to have a dotted line. And because it's less than, we're shading below. So for this one, I'm going to graph one of them in purple. So I'll graph this one in purple, and I'll graph this one in orange so we can see the difference. So I'll graph my y is less than 3. So I'll start by going to my y-intercept of 3. 
and my slope is zero. So up zero over one, up zero over one, and that's a dotted line, and we're shading below. So I'll draw my little man, climbing my line, and shade the grass, because below me is the grass. Then I'll go ahead and I'll graph my x is less than two. So here we have an undefined slope and no y-intercept. So we go to the number two, and undefined means a vertical line. So we're just going to create a vertical dashed line here. And this is hard because you can't really draw a little man here. If you draw a little man, he's going to fall. Okay. So when we think of below, we also think of less than, right? Because it said x is less than 2. So when we do our less than, we want all the numbers less than 2, like 0 and 1 and negative 2. So it's going to be all of these ones right here. Okay. Let's try that again. Here we go. So it's going to be all of these ones right here. So here we see we have the double color happening where we have the blue and the green shading coming together. And that's going to be our solution space. Let's try a couple more. So here, again, we have systems of inequalities. We have two inequalities for each graph. I'm going to have you do letter A on your own. So go ahead and push pause, and when you're done, push play, and let's see if you are correct. So for my first inequality, I have a slope of 1 and a y-intercept of negative 2. Because it's greater than or equal to, I'm going to have a solid line that is shaded above and my second inequality is a less than, and because it's strictly less than, it's going to be dotted, and the less than means I'll be shading below. So let's go ahead and graph that. So we'll graph our first inequality. We'll start at negative 2, because that's our y-intercept. We have a slope of 1, so up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. This is going to be a solid line. So we can go ahead, we can graph our solid line, and we can draw our little man hiking on it, and we're going to shade above in the sky. So we'll go ahead and we'll shade above. And now we're ready to graph our second inequality. So here, we're going to have a y-intercept of a positive 2. And our slope is a down 1 over 1. Down 1 over 1. And so once we've got that, we can go ahead and we can create our dashed line. And then we're going to shade below. So we'll draw a little man so that we know where below is, so the grass. So we're going to go ahead and shade the grass there. And when we're done shading the grass for that line or the below for that line, we see where our solution set is with the overlap of those two shadings. So now we're going to go ahead and try letter B. I want you to do this one on your own as well. Let's go ahead and push pause, and then when you're done, push play. And let's see if you were right. So here, for our first inequality, y is less than negative 2 thirds x plus 2, we have a slope of negative 2 thirds, a y-intercept of 2, and because it's less than and strictly less than, it's dotted and below. For our second inequality, we have y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 1. So we have a slope of negative 2, a y-intercept of 1. Because we have a greater than or equal to inequality, we have a solid line. And the greater than part of it makes it so that we shade above. So let's go ahead and let's graph these inequalities. So for our first inequality, for our top inequality, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start at a 2, because that's the y-intercept. That's where we start. And then we're going to follow the slope. So we're going to go down 2 and over 3. And again, we only need two points to be able to draw our line. And so this is what our line looks like. And we'll go ahead and we'll draw our man hiking on our line so that we know where below is. So we're going to shade the grass of that line. And now we're ready to graph our second inequality. So we'll go to our y-intercept of 1 and a slope of negative 2. So down 2 over 1. Down 2 over 1. And you can draw as many dots as you need to to be able to have a good line or a good ability to graph that line. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to graph our solid line. So now that we have our line drawn, we're going to draw our little man hiking on our line. And here we're shading above. So we're shading the sky of the pink line, right? So the sky of the pink line. And as we go to shade that, 
we see that we have our overlap right here in this space. And this is going to be the solution of our system, where the green and the blue are both shaded. And that's how you graph a system of linear inequalities on a coordinate plane.